Welcome back. More people were shot yesterday, including three children, one in Atlanta, Georgia, and also outside Oklahoma City, and also in Frank Franklin County, Pennsylvania. Now, the outrage is growing against failed Democrat leadership. Now, this, the Back the Blue movement, we've been covering it. It is now coming on strong. We're seeing people taking to the streets and rallying to support cops in a growing number of states. It includes seven states, Maryland, Michigan, Virginia, Ohio, Nebraska, and New York. Now, in a Fox Business exclusive, we welcome back Acting Deputy Secretary of Homeland Security, Ken Cuccinelli. Your reaction to this growing movement, and it's great to see you again. What's your reaction to this? Liz, I, I would say it's, it's heartwarming. I think this is sort of the silent majority asserting itself. You know, they don't explode like other parts of our society do uh, with so much destruction. But they work themselves up. There's, as President Reagan used to say many years ago, the wisdom of America resides with Americans, not in our institutions. And I think you're seeing that reflected here. Defend, don't defund. You know, sir, the dangerous defund the police push also means a growing number of cities trying to get the police out of helping protect our nation's right. public schools amid violent mass shootings. Local lawmakers in Washington, D.C. voted this week to kick out police out of public schools. They've been there since 2004, providing training of hundreds of security guards to protect yeah. children. Your reaction to this? Foolish, foolish, foolish. Putting children at risk. Um, those officers are there to protect children. That's what they're doing. And as uh, it, it really shows the, the lunacy of this mentality. And if you want to know what defunding the police looks like in the real world, just look at that little part of Seattle where the mayor pulled the police out. What happened? People were being killed, a 14-year-old. Sexual assaults were taking place with no accountability. Uh, that's what you get when you defund the police, when you pull back on the police. And it's really important for people to remember that the neighborhoods that need community policing the most aren't the rich neighborhoods. They're the poor neighborhoods. They're the neighborhoods that are yeah. disproportionately minority. That's who you're victimizing by pulling back um, and allowing the criminals to run free. Yeah, it's putting minority communities in danger. And Absolutely. also you mentioned Seattle. It's striking that the CHOP zone was set up in Seattle, but then Seattle parents could, could not take their children to playgrounds. Go figure. I want to move on to this. Right. Okay, the blowback against failed Democrat leadership is now picking up. <laughs> Look what's going on in New York State. The state attorney general of New York, Letitia James, now says Mayor Bill de Blasio has lost control. He should no longer have authority over New York City police. She wants an independent panel to oversee it, oversee the police, not de Blasio. And I want you to take a listen, sir, to top officials say, get rid of Bill de Blasio, remove him. He has yeah. failed to live up yeah. to his oath to protect New Yorkers. Watch this. It will be this direction that uh, Bill de Blasio is taking it down, which is chaos and lawlessness and poverty mm. and a lot, lack of opportunity. So I really believe he has to be removed and the city won't survive him staying in for the remainder of his term. This mayor is atrocious. You know, if I had a magic wand, I'd remove him. But unfortunately, what's waiting in the wings is, is no better. Atrocious is a good word. Uh, incompetent is another. Um, it, you know what? He should be removed. He should have been removed a long time ago. Yeah. What do you think? Should there be a recall movement to remove failed Democrat leaders? Because violent crimes are spiking double digits in more than two dozen cities across the country. Well, look, Liz, um, the short answer would be yes. I don't know New York laws, but but people knew what they were getting when they voted for this guy in New York City. They are getting what they voted for. They're getting economic destruction along with the violence and the chaos. Um, this is consistent with the philosophy that he represents and governs on. And everywhere else you see this liberal philosophy employed, you see more violence and you see less economic opportunity. Those things go hand in hand. And that isn't some speculation. Right. You can look back 50 years in this country and where that philosophy has been implemented, those have been the results. Okay. Ken Cuccinelli, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Good we to really be with you, We really appreciate Liz. it. Come back soon.